Hey guys, well, you guessed her, another day on the shed project. Um, a little cooler of a day today, so, uh, hopefully, you know, I can get a few more things done before the heat gets too much. Uh, as you've seen in the last video, i done the uh, doorstep. Um, I want to do the uh, doorknob installation today as well as I need to do a couple fine uh, tuning. If you notice, it kind of springs here. Well, if you uh, look along your paint, you'll see, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but you see a bit of a scuff here. Well, what it's done is it's rubbing here. So if I take some sandpaper and I give it a gentle sand there, then that should take the uh, spring out of the door so it should close correctly as well as uh, I've kind of made a decision here with my landscaping what I'm going to do here to fill this up what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this uh, landscaping tie straight down to about here and then run her into the shed you know just like that and this this area here will be gravel with a bit of a notch and then this area here right here where there's gravel currently I'll scrape that back and uh, fill it full of dirt and you know re-landscape it and everything like that for um, for grass and that just um, then right here on this corner what I'll do is I'll dig this back here and bring it straight out this way and put gravel there so I don't have to uh, jam the lawnmower into here or you know do a lot of trimming <coughs> we'll have to see how it goes at the end of this video if I've got uh, enough gravel on site I may end up having to buy some more gravel. I was hoping to get away with not having to, but, you know, if you have to, you have to, right? So, um, one of the, on a positive note, I actually went down to the old future shop and I picked up myself up a tripod. It's an Optics uh, OPT255 um, tripod. It's good for photo video or digital uh, cameras so it's a nice uh, kind of a heavier duty tripod uh, just to give you a comparison this was the one that I was using it's, um, this one here would go up to probably about three feet or so 30 inches and this other one here will go up to almost five feet so yeah it's a stronger camera it should uh, do me quite well this other one was a cheapie from uh, Princess Auto. It was what I used for all my tripod shots, pretty much. Uh, um, from I don't know what have been Decemberish or something like that, Novemberish, up till uh, just a few weeks ago. So let's get at the old shed project and see how it goes. Okay, guys. So I scraped back some of the gravel, uh, majority of it anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do is start by wetting down the area because the dirt's pretty dry, it's been a lot of heat lately. And then what uh, we'll do is uh, give her a really, really good soak and uh, shape it a bit. And then we'll start dumping dirt into it and give her a landscape. Okay, so now that she's uh, wet, I can uh, do a bit of digging right here on this corner, taking down only, uh, you know, whatever it would be, four inches or something of, uh, of uh, dirt just to take off the uh, high spot there. And then um, I can shape this area to accept the new dirt and um, 
I have one barrel here of the kind of dirty rock type mix that come out of uh, the hole when I was digging as well as uh, I saved uh, a couple of other barrels from uh, of dirt from when I dug the main hole where the shed was sitting. So we'll get at her and I'll give you guys another shout back then. Okay, so I've dumped some of the dirt in there. Uh, I still got a long ways to go to build it up. If you look, this is a 2x4 laid across from the doorstep. It's flush on the doorstep. But if you look at the space here, and then you look at the space back, what I'm wanting to basically build is a tapered type ramp out of dirt. was going to use gravel, but I figured the gravel would, uh, you know, shift and that, and it would be a pain to roll anything in and out of there was going to use wood and just bring a ramp right out you know but um, sometimes when I unload things I back the truck up onto the grass and I figured well if I roll the truck on a wooden ramp it would break and you know cause trouble so we're looking at about a half inch here up to probably about a six eight inches there a fill that's got to go in here so, of course, I've got this bucket here. We'll, um, we'll get her dumped in the hole and uh, leveled up. Okay, guys, so I've dropped uh, two of my uh, cans full of dirt there. Um, should be enough for a start anyway. I've got two more in the corner. I'm going to put you on the tripod and uh, throw her in like five times mode and uh, fast forward the way through this. Okay guys, I've got it uh, almost all the way there. Got the dirt in there spread out. Uh, there's a few areas that need uh, a little more and in some areas that are a little high. So uh, I think if I, uh, I think if I um, do a little more raking I should be able to get her about where I need her. I need a little more dirt right in this uh, this corner right there. But other than that, uh, she's looking pretty good. Okay guys, so uh, we have all our dirt work done. Um, I'm just going to cover it up with a piece of plywood so I can walk on it. Because right now, you know, it's not settled or anything, you step on it, you're going to sink up to your nose. And, uh, of course, uh, by spring this will have settled some more and I'll have to add some more dirt, but right now this is a good enough start. So we'll give her uh, a cover up and then we'll uh, start on our, uh, probably our door handle install. 
Okay guys, I've got the first hole drilled in the uh, in the door for the doorknob. So I, as you've seen there in my last um, video, I did buy a um, a doorknob uh, installation kit, but um, so it makes things a little easier. I've uh, tried to do it with just a simple hole saw and my drill, but I always have issues. Most of the time, uh, you know, there are always those unforeseen uh, things, right? So this time I bought a doorknob installation kit, and um, we'll, uh, like I said, we got our holes drilled, so we'll put the uh, lock in here, and uh, we'll have to see how it turns out. Okay guys, I got one doorknob uh, in. It's your standard install of your standard house doorknob. Um, one thing I did find is I had to go around and gently recess this uh, doorknob because my door is about an eighth of an inch or so bigger than the, your standard house door, I guess thicker than your standard house door, which in, you know, uh, throws a few things off. So I had to go around my little Dremel tool and uh, pretty much countersink that um, in. And then on the striker, I just went around and with my Dremel again, cut it out, recessed it in. That was the easiest part of the whole, uh, the whole build. But we still got one more door to do, and uh, one thing nice though, I can see on a positive note, is today it's uh, not as hot as it's been, so uh, it's not quite as nasty, it's almost cool, it's almost like it's going to rain or something. But hope it holds off till we get the other uh, doorknob in. So uh, let's get at her and get her done. I uh, had to modify my doorknob installation kit mainly due to the thickness of the door. One thing I can say about um, this kit is it comes with the holes here that attaches the plastic to the wood basically adds as a third hand. Just run a few screws in there to hold it. And then we'll start uh, with drilling. Okay, so let's drill the hole in. Okay, so being that my door is a little thicker than the average door, uh, I've got to drill through from the back side. Okay, so the main hole is drilled. This is roughly how thick my door is, sitting at about two inches. Now what we'll do is we'll drill a uh, second hole. So what we've done is we've drilled our main hole, then we've drilled our second hole here. We'll just take out these screws and remove our kit. And then uh, we'll get the doorknob in here just to uh, set in here. And then what I'll need to do is take the Dremel, gently carve around here so it'll uh, recess it in so she'll fit just so. 
So on most doors, uh, you're able just to uh, press this in. You want to make sure it's square and not at an angle. Then you take your doorknob and uh, kind of halfway install it, um, leaving out the screws, of course. Just bring you around the side here. So you put on the other half of the doorknob. Just uh, get her all lined up. And uh, she should slide uh, right on. And then you take your pencil and you just uh, trace around the outline of the uh, doorknob. Like that. And that's the outline that you got to cut away with the uh, Dremel. Then you take a hammer and a chisel and you knock out this little ridge. Okay, I'll, I'll just do that, and, and after I've done that, I'll give you a shout back. Okay guys, we got our doorknob uh, installed. Uh, we just have a bit of a rain delay right now. It's uh, actually got a bit of a shower. We'll let the rain um, subside for a bit. It's not raining heavily, but it's gently sprinkling. And... Uh, after it's quit raining, then we'll uh, install our little uh, plate in our jam. We'll give her, a, basically what we're going to do is give her a trace and then use our little uh, Dremel and uh, carve her out. Okay, so what I've done is I traced the striker onto the uh, Chase this plate onto the jam, and then what I'm going to do is uh, pretty much just cut out the outline with the uh, Dremel. take a hammer and a chisel and we'll knock out this uh, center part. Okay, so we'll just give her a test fit with the uh, plate and she'll fit uh, reasonable. Let's give her a little tap so we get the indent to this little uh, whatchamahoosit. And we'll fire the Dremel up again. Notch out a little spot for it to sit. So then we'll screw down this plate and uh, I'll give you guys a shout back then. And again we'll fire up the old Dremel and we'll just trim out the uh, inside of there. What you can't get with the Dremel, give her a little uh, knock down with the chisel. There you go, guys, moment of truth. Well, we got uh, both of our door handles on. And, uh, we got uh, all the uh, construction of the shed done. The door handles were kind of the last thing. There's a couple of um, finishing touches that I want to do. I need to put a, uh, I don't know what you call them, an overswing guard or something. Right about there on the doorstep. Because now that I got the moldings on, the hinges bottom out right about there. 
because uh, the molding right keeps it from swinging all the way back like it used to so I need to put a little wedged kind of triangle shaped blocking right about there pretty much uh, not shaped to um, finish my landscaping with the gravel you know and uh, I'm probably gonna build a few shelves on the in the shed itself as for um, the wiring and uh, that I'm not a hundred percent sure that I'm going to get to it uh, this year this season um, you know winter's not here yet there still is time but I may not uh, get to it as I said in a previous video I have no uh, need for power in here right at this moment so I might do it this fall or I might wait till spring I have all the stuff it's just a matter of getting uh, you know the time to do it but uh, as always guys um, thank you for watching Maxwell's World uh, comment subscribe and enjoy